The metals industry is under constant pressure of maintaining profitability even in the face of cyclical commodity prices. With the OSI Soft Pie system, this industry sector can develop the data foundation required to succeed in this volatile environment. Here we have an example of an integrated steel mill. This is a complex plant consisting of different styles of manufacturing from continuous batch to discrete. In this first area, the raw materials of coke, sinter, limestone, and iron ore are fed into the blast furnace to create iron. This iron is refined in the basic oxygen furnace to create molten steel, which is then fed into the casters. The casters allow that molten steel to solidify and then cast that into billets, blooms, or slabs. Taking a closer look at caster one, we have information around the various temperatures for each one of the zones in the caster. The ladle feeds into a ton dish, which feeds into a water-cooled copper mold. This cooling starts the formation of a shell. From here, it goes into the secondary cooling where the steel is sprayed with water to further cool it. Eventually, the metal solidifies and is cut into slabs. Here we have the slab as well as the cast ID, ladle ID, and the grade for traceability. For example, if you have quality issues, you can go back and determine what the various temperatures, feed rates, and other process variables were during the time of casting. Taking a deeper look into zone three, we have information around the current temperature in that zone, as well as its target, maximum, and minimum. The table here displays the slabs that have undergone that zone in the last hour, but we can easily change that to get more information of what's happened in the last eight hours. Taking a deeper dive into the caster detail, we have information on the various zones as well as their lengths. This metadata is part of the caster definition. So by changing from caster one to caster two, we can see that this information also updates. The bar graphs here show the current temperature in blue, as well as the target in green and the maximum and minimum temperatures for the various zones. These graphs in the bottom show the various slabs in the different zones, the blue denoting slab IDs that are even and the orange denoting slab IDs that are odd. I hope this quick demonstration shows how the Pi system can empower our Metals customers to capture and consolidate their operational data, enabling them to obtain situational awareness.